Hi, yes. This is your girl, Queen Rebella, and her emperor. So, what happened today, or yesterday, rather speaking? June 21st, we was at Hollywood Beach. We left the Tackle Beach Shack, had an awesome time, you know. Then when I was leaving out, I decided to look down at my phone while Siri was talking to me about going through left and right and going around to get back on track to get back to our suite. I looked down at my phone, I looked up, I saw that I did happen to run the red light and in the midst of me breaking, not breaking in time, the person that was turning, so pretty much, and this is the person car turning. Oh. The person was turning. I thought they were gonna stay in the right lane so it can give me enough time to break and swerve into the left. Instead, he went into the left lane where this part of his vehicle underneath the headlight hit, in, hit into the side of my car like this and I was going like this. I ended up twirling like this. Just twirl. Like it literally spun out of control. And when it spun out of control, he was crying. Empress, the airbag hit her onto the side of the neck. And I was just like, Oh my goodness, the airbags popped. I tried to control the steering wheel to turn it left or right <coughs> to stop from all the spinning. And I pretty much just let go of the wheel. I let go of the brake. I wasn't really pressing the gas. I let go of everything. Then when it was when the wheel, the steering wheel stopped spinning out of control. All I saw was the light post and I immediately, immediately pressed down on my brakes and I was literally this close to hitting the light post. If I had not stepped on the brake, my car would have split in half and we all would have been in the hospital. So, you know, it's very devastating because my birthday was June 19th, June 19th which was also on Father's Day. And I never thought that, well, I'm pretty sure nobody ever thought this, but within the two days, and this is my last day off, that I have no car, no vehicle. I did spend, you know, some money on the tent. I was actually going to try to go ahead and buy it like own it by the end of the year so after I submit the claim to Geico I get into my app and it says that the car is a total loss and I may need to look for another vehicle and I'm like wow it was by a funny truck yes it was definitely on the tow truck and I was, I'm just like, wow. Um, so yeah, I really have no words to say. I'm actually lost of words to say. But I'm going to keep a positive note. I have my job and we still live in a suite. And... I am going to pick up my car rental today, June 22nd, and go from there. Because at this point, when I contact my mom, just to, you know, any advice, mom, you know, advice on life. Um, I don't know how you always get yourself in these situations, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like... You just want to talk to the children about how you got them a damn dog instead? Like, you want to talk about that? Because this is a serious situation. Like, I have no car. And I have to go to work the next day. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. And then she just hang up on me. And I'm just like... 
you hang up on me when I needed you the most. But hey, that's what happens when you're born in a Jamaican family. This rough life. No offense to any Jamaicans out there, but I can speak about this as much as I want to because I'm living it. And no one is really assisting out. I do only have a handful, like one handful of friends that's able to assist. Even though we all we all are going through it, through this recession. But I just find it so crazy. The minute I turned 32, I literally lost the one thing that was keeping me and my children together. Driving to work, sleeping in a car, just getting groceries, doing laundry, you know. Now, I have to figure some things out. So, thank you guys for listening. We will keep you updated. We're gonna go to bed. We gotta wake up early to get the car, to release the vehicle so they can do an inspection. If they cannot save the car, then I will be car shopping again. All right. Stay blessed and respect, y'all. Bye.